Hey there you guys, welcome back. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too much. Every time I try to film, uh, especially in the backyard, uh, there's a lot of wind. I don't know why, it's the, where I live. <laughs> so uh, today we're gonna be planting up one of these. Uh, it's, a, it's a basket, you can use it. This particular one is a hanging basket. I took the uh, hangers off and it's a, a lovely cone shape. Uh, we'll be hanging them on the pergola. I'll show you that at the very end, take a photo of what they look like. Um, I went, I'm going with a, uh, a basic uh, plant configuration this year uh, for those, those pots. Uh, I just think I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the basic, uh, simple. Also plants are really expensive. So if I don't have to put a lot of things in there and have it look nice, that's what I'm gonna do because everything is ridiculously expensive. I'm sure many of you can relate. Uh, so in this planter is going to be the Cordeline, what is this one? Cordeline Red Star Spike. Uh, I put this in my planters uh, last fall uh, with some mums and they look beautiful. So I wanted to continue that uh, this year. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful plant. It starts off small and it gets uh, much bigger. It's a common one. Usually the green ones are what we see. Uh, so that is one of them. I'm gonna put a couple of geraniums in there. Uh, this is a beautiful pink variety, uh, so lovely. Uh, so I haven't used geraniums in quite some time, especially the basic ones. Um, uh, geranium, this one is Pelargonium, uh, not to be confused with the, the perennial geranium, which I also grow, which is a uh, common name is Cranesbill. And we're gonna be putting some uh, Bacopa in there. This is just a basic white Bacopa. And then we've got this one. It was labeled as a sun fern. Uh, the only uh, fern that I know that uh, likes uh, sun or tolerates sun is the Kimberly fern. This one here is not a Kimberly, uh, so it looks more like a Boston fern, uh, but we'll see, we'll experiment. Hopefully it doesn't crisp up, but uh, it's gonna be in a lot of sun. Uh, so as long as it stays moist, it should be fine. We'll see what happens. So uh, let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's start planting this up should be fun okay so again we've got this uh, cool planter it's a cone shape it actually came with uh, the hangers and it came with this uh, little stand so I'm happy it did because uh, uh, it they, they weren't selling it with the stand but when we were walking around the planters one of the uh, the workers said oh it comes with this uh, and at first we were like no we really don't need it thank God I got it because it's gonna make uh, potting it up so much easier where the heck do you put a cone uh, to uh, stand it up straight while you're planting it. So happy, happy it came with that. And then we got our potting soil. This is just Promix HP is what I'm using, high porosity. Uh, but any type of potting soil that's available in your area should be fine. You wanna have something that retains some moisture but also uh, drains freely. I'm gonna fill it most of the way up, maybe to, uh, <laughs> it's really windy maybe uh, uh, four or five inches from the, uh, from the lip of the pot. One more scoop should do it. There we go. And then I'm going to add some slow release fertilizer. This is a miracle Grow fertilizer, the shake and feed. Just wanna add a bunch in here. I like to add some slow release fertilizer to my soil. And then I still fertilize throughout the season, but uh, at least this way I know that my plants have some food if I forget. Uh, so that is that. And then what I'm going to do uh, is I'm gonna lay out my plants. Uh, so I want the, the fern to go near the front, and then I'm going to put the, uh, the geraniums off to the side near the back. Uh, so this is the front of the pot, this is the back of the pot, and then in between here we're going to be putting the bacopa. The bacopa is going to be uh, filling in the space as well as draping over the side. The fern is going to bush in. I don't know how big this fern is going to get, there was no details about it, but I assume it's going to get at least twice as big as it is. So the bacopa is going to fill in the bottom section of the pot, and then uh, the geraniums are going to add the color. And then the spike, you're not able to see it fully, but uh, the spike is going to go right in the center. So let's get these guys out of their pots. So normally when you're potting these things up, you want to look at the root system. If it's really, really congested, uh, you want to kind of uh, tease them so they're not uh, continuing to go in a circle. This one is not root bound, so I don't need to do anything. Actually, I, I would prefer not to uh, play with the roots. 
uh, if I don't have to. And then this fern, this one has a little bit of uh, a congested root system, but not terrible. So I'm just gonna pick apart the, the bottom a little bit. And we got this other bacopa. It's got the same situation. The roots aren't right to the edge of the pot. And then the geranium, the pelargonium, uh, they look like beautiful roots right there. So I'm not gonna do anything special to these ones either. It's so early in the season, it's early May. Uh, it's the first full weekend in May. So what is today? I don't know. Uh, May 9th or 10th, I can't remember. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's still very, very early. So these things were probably recently potted up into the size pots that they're in right there. And then we're going to take this, um, this spike. Uh, because this was in a slightly deeper pot, I'm just going to dig down a little bit so that it's level with the other plants. And then that's almost it. Super, super simple. Get some more soil. And we just wanna fill in all the gaps. You don't wanna bury them deeper than what they were in their pots. So just be mindful of that. You might have to move the soil around. Some plants don't mind being buried a little deeper, but some, some really, uh, really suffer if you do. And I want to maintain about one inch of space between the, uh, the top of the soil and the top of the pot. There's about an inch. That way, when you water it, it just doesn't spill over the edge. You want the water to uh, remain in the, the planter. So what I forgot to do here is with these little bacopas, you kind of want to lean them towards the outside of the pot so that they kind of naturally want to trail over the side. They're going to bush in and, and do what they do naturally, but you just want to help them along by tilting them just to the, to the side so that they start to spill. The geraniums, it doesn't matter. And we'll get some more soil in here. You want to firm it down. You don't want to press hard. You just don't want to get rid of the air pockets. getting rid of the air pockets. I'm feeling around with my fingers to make sure that I'm getting everything. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Make sure everything is firmed in. This guy here needs a little help. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add this last bit of soil in here. It's really windy. Hopefully, like I said before, hopefully it's not affecting the sound quality too badly. There we go, and it looks beautiful. So because of the high winds here, I'm going to have to uh, watch my spikes uh, until they get rooted in. They're gonna naturally try to go off to the side. I might get a, a stake, a little uh, wooden um, stake to put in beside it uh, to hold it upright, but we'll see how it goes. It looks like there's a dead section at the back, but that's gonna be against the pergola. Uh, these geraniums are gonna fill in uh, everything is going to fill in. Eventually, you won't even notice that this is here. I could have bought something else, but it's at the back of the planter. It's not necessary. So, and it's also really good practice to remove any of the uh, the flowers from your from your plants. It will send the energy to the roots where you want it to develop. And soon enough, you're going to get more flowers. Uh, it's just a little trick to, to help it adjust a little bit better. I didn't do it with the other two that are behind me, uh, but I will do it with this one uh, just as a, uh, a guide. So here we go. Now I'm going to water it in. Water it in quite well. And because it's newly planted, I won't probably have to water this for, uh, for at least a week, uh, but I will check on it uh, daily to see if the wind has dried it out. And uh, yeah, I want to maintain a, a nice moisture level. I don't want it to be soggy, but uh, I want it to maintain a nice moisture. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see what they look like hanging up. Okay, so there they are in their situation. Uh, they're looking so nice. Uh, these are the ones where I didn't take the flowers off. And as you can see, they're looking pretty good. Uh, the other one I put a spike in, or a stake in. I haven't tied the plant to it. Uh, but it was, uh, it was really, 
it was really blown around. So until the root system has uh, taken hold, you sometimes need to do what you gotta do. And then the other one where we remove the flower is over here. And there we go. Anyway, show me what you're planting. I'd love to get some more inspiration, uh, some of the plant combos that you do, and uh, yeah, what works best for you. Anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing.